Healthcare costs are not equally distributed across all people. As a matter of fact, most healthcare expenses are concentrated in a small subset of people. The graph being shown has the percentage of cost on the left and the number of lives on the right. The most costly 5% of people in a given population account for 50%, that is one half of the total healthcare costs for the entire population. And the old 80-20 rule applies to healthcare as well, with 80% of the cost tied to 20% of the population. If insurance and risk pooling did not exist, every person would need to pay for their own healthcare costs. Most people are healthy and do not have a lot of healthcare expenses each year. For those who are ill or who have accidents, however, the costs could be debilitating. Healthcare costs increase with age. My aches and pains can certainly attest to that. Costs are relatively stable until age 40, with some increases during childbearing years, but then start increasing more steeply thereafter, with the average person incurring 80% of their lifetime healthcare costs after the age of 40. Insurance companies provide healthcare coverage to large numbers of people and are able to spread the risk of that small subset of people across a larger population, thereby diluting those high costs. The larger the population or number of people covered, the more that risk can be spread and the lower that incremental cost is to everyone else. And larger population size also means that the cost is more stable and less subject to wild swings up or down over time. This graph illustrates the impact of pooling, where in each pool there is one person with extremely high costs that are spread across everyone. If the average non-high cost person has cost of $250, the incremental impact of pooling decreases as the group size gets larger. In a group with 100 people, the incremental cost of pooling that one high cost individual would be an additional $8. When the group size increases to 200 people, that incremental cost is cut in half to $4. In a group of 500 people, the incremental cost decreases even further to $1.50. And in a group of 1,000 people, the incremental cost to everyone is less than $1. Risk pooling essentially socializes healthcare costs across populations of people with the majority of people paying a small amount more in order to protect sick individuals and those with acute health care needs from financial ruin.